I'm here on a Friday night and no one is here. It's right before closing time. I have roughly an hour before the store closes. It's pretty empty. Hi guys, it's Julie here. Welcome back. Um, excuse me that I'm in my kitchen and it's sort of messy. I didn't really have time to clean up. And you know what? It's gonna be okay, right? Because we're all friends here. I'm back with another thrift haul, and this time it's gonna be shoes, bags, and outerwear. I know it's kind of weird that I'm doing these thrift hauls, but there's a lot more coming, so I hope you stay tuned and I hope you like it. Anyways, Lincoln is sleeping, and so I just gotta hurry up and speed along, so let's jump into the haul. You guys, I've been dying to film this vlog for a while because I've just been using these items over and over again and I was like, man, I'm gonna get them all busted looking before I get to film this vlog. But anyways, here's my first item. And it's from Liz Claiborne. It's genuine leather and I felt like it was really good quality. And I like that it has a little bit of that like old school style. It has a sturdy base and it can kind of hold itself. And then it has a nice crossbody strap which I put this way, kind of like diagonal, as well as the handles. So you can hold it either through the crossbody or by the handles. I do like that it is two-toned with a little bit of the weathered gold accents because that's kind of like my jam right now. And honestly, it holds my vlogging camera when I go thrifting and I can just sling it over my shoulder, easy peasy. It tends to match with most of my clothes because I wear neutrals. So this purse cost me $3.99. Next bag is this gold clutch. And I think I'm going for this vintage weathered look and the lining is pretty too. So it's like a black and white pinstripe. Honestly, there is no name in it. I looked all over, there is no brand name, no tag, nothing written. But I do like that there are pockets. There's two pockets and a zipper to hold your stuff, but it also came with this strap. And honestly, this sounds really funny, but what sold me was this old school style closure. I don't think I've seen this kind of closure ever. And it just twists open and it hooks on. I don't know, I like little details like that that maybe no one else would care about or notice, but I do. I personally like the look of it as a clutch better, but it's nice that you can start off as a clutch and then when you get tired, sling it over your shoulder. So it's like weird. It's like I'm looking for big bags because of this like mom bag so I can hold a lot of stuff. But then when I'm not momming, I like to have little bags. And this clutch cost me $3.19. My next purse was kind of a fun surprise because it still had the tag on. This is Call It Spring. This was just sitting there minding its own business with the tag still on because I think people thought it was a clutch and it was just by all the wallets hiding away on the shelf. And I decided to look at it, open it up, and realize there's a bonus strap. And this is my style because, again, it's a crossbody. I just love crossbodies, but it's not heavy. That's the thing. I used to own chain bags where it was just so heavy, but this entire thing is super light. And of course, it connects and unconnects so that you can wear it as a clutch if you want to. It's so me. If anyone knows me, I'm all about, first of all, gold, zippers, tassels, fringe, any kind of detail like that. It has the zipper on the top so that you can open it this way. Oh yeah, and the lining is really cute too. It's like a black and white polka dot. And it also has another opening this way. So you can grab things faster this way. And this bag cost me $4.99. Here's the thing about thrift stores. I feel like once there's a new tag on it, they kind of think, oh, let me just try to calculate the best I can from this and I can see that it said originally it was $35 so I think that's why they made it a slightly pricier for $4.99. I like that it is a pop of color so because you know I am kind of basic I like browns, neutrals, tans, camels but it's fun to have a nice pop of color. Next up are shoes and here's where Joe draws a line he says because he's really not a thrifter to begin with. You know, that's why they invented Lysol wipes and leather cleaners and suede cleaners and, you know, I just did my job. So, I first of all look for shoes that are in really good condition and these were it. If these are dirty at all, that's because I actually have been wearing them almost every single day. 
these have a funny story because I was oddly drawn to them on the shelf and they look kind of sad amongst all these shoes. But I noticed when I went closer, it's a brand called Ali. I was like, what's that? And it says made in Korea. So shoes after my own heart. They have a suede feel to them. I don't know if they are actually suede or not. Not only were they made in Korea, but I just went to them and they happened to be my size. You can't even tell what it is, what size it is, because it's in the Korean brand. So I just slipped it on my feet and they fit. So the shoe fits, buy it. And what I thought is also kind of cute, kind of tacky cute, is this cheetah print inside. It's very Peg Bundy. I like it. Um, it adds a little bit of interest and you can't really see it anyway, but then maybe it just peeks out a tiny bit. Um, I've been wearing these a ton. They go so well with skinny jeans, uh, leggings, anything, and I've just been grabbing them for almost all my outfits and running out the door. So these cost $3.99, and if you look, even though I've been wearing them, look, the soles are pretty clean. Like, they were even cleaner. They were squeaky clean. It's as if someone bought them or someone got them as a gift from Korea and decided, nah, and <laughs> decided to donate them. Next up are these Sperry Topsiders. And, you know, I've always kind of wanted topsiders, but I just didn't feel like buying them. I felt like, you know, they're kind of like, in my opinion, ugly cute. They're a blue leather with a plaid and then also a brown leather lace. At first, when Joe saw them, he was like, meh, like unimpressed. Like he didn't like really like the style of these, but I kind of like it. It's nerdy, it's preppy, it's classic, and it goes well with everything. It's like kind of a basic or a neutral without being super basic. And these cost me $3.99. These next shoes are a little bit taller in a wedge. Maybe not to some of you, but to me, I tend to wear shorter wedges if they're gonna be a heel at all. But these are from Simply Vera, you know, so Vera Wang's line. But then um, they were also in excellent condition as if they were never worn. I haven't worn these yet, so you can see this is $4.99. And they were just like this, like almost brand new. Yeah, so they're these brown leather with these laser cut holes. And I think they would be great for summer leading into fall. And I think that they're nice and classic and they'll go well with everything. It's a peep toe, sling back, little ankle strap, and it's a full coverage booty. My next and last pair of shoes are these Sam and Libby Gold Flats. And guess what guys, these were brand new with tag on it from Target. And the funny thing is that these were $2.99, so these were, what, my cheapest shoes? But they are brand new, never worn, not a scuff, not a nothing. The reason I think they were on sale is because of these kind of like corny looking wavy lines around here. But here's the thing, when you slip it on and you put it on, you can't even see them, it just melts away. Haven't worn them yet, but I want to. You know, I'm a flats girl all the way. Comfort is key. And the thing is that after my pregnancy, my feet grew, and so, you know, normally these wouldn't fit me, but now they do. And I saw this one pair they were hiding in a shopping cart full of like hodgepodge mishmash stuff and just hiding. And I just decided to go in there by chance and look and I fished them out. They were exactly my size. I fit into them and I was like, oh, and then here's the thing. Goodwill does sell brand new Target items that they purchase from Target themselves, so it totally makes sense. And so, yeah, I was really excited to find these guys. Gold is my color. It's a neutral. It'll match with everything. I'll wear it a ton. Score. This last item is outerwear. And I feel like I had a hint of buyer's remorse, but then not really, but kind of, but not, because of the price. I did not expect to buy coats or some jackets, but here I am and I found two. And they're in like really good condition. They're a bit pricey, but I think I like it. It's this loft trench. And it's a little different from a normal trench because of the shape, the way that it hangs. It has like a little swinging body and a little ruffled gathered sleeve. The texture of it feels really nice, almost like a moleskin. And you guys, like, I went back and forth. This was in my cart forever because I, I held on to it because that's the thing. You don't want to let go of something you like. Someone else might grab it. And I was like, should I come back for it in hopes that it goes on sale? But I couldn't risk it. You guys, this was $24.99. Yes, from a thrift store. I told my friend and she had this like look of like, 
<laughs> pure horror. Even I am shocked that I spent $25 at a thrift store on one item because you could probably get a coat that's on sale, marked down, marked down, at a normal store brand new. But the thing about this is that it feels and looks exactly like it's brand new. I even looked at everything. I inspected it top to bottom. What I like about this is the weight because as soon as I put it on, it was one of those things like I didn't want to take it off. It just felt like it just melted into my body. It slumped into my shoulders and had a really good weight to it, but still felt light. And I haven't found anything comparable. So no, I don't have buyer's remorse after all. Well, that's it for my haul. I know it's a little out of character filming my thrift hauls instead of going back to cooking, but I plan to do that soon. It's just a little bit hard to do it right now, watching the baby. But I figured if I'm having fun kind of changing up my new mom wardrobe, I might as well take you along with me. So if you enjoyed watching this, there's going to be a lot more coming. I have it all planned and written down in this notebook. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. Remember to push like, leave a comment down below which one of these items did you like. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Look at mommy.